In our circle of friends, we always have a set of different personalities that contribute to each other's growth in various incredible ways. Look at you. You might be the clown of the group, the big sister or brother, the fancy one, the unlicensed therapist, the designated driver, or the plan setter. It's the same in the aquarium hobby. All the different kinds of fish we feature possess numbers of personalities which make them distinct from one another. And since you know for sure that in a circle of friends, a person who brings out the comfort in you will always be present in the group, then you'll understand why dither is important to include in your fish tank. Who's a dither? What's a dither? You'll find out about that in this video. All you have to do is stay with me until the end because in today's topic, we discuss the 12 types of dither fish in the hobby. Everything you need to know only here at Aquarium Store Depot. Dither fish are crucial in aquariums because they give larger, timid kinds of fish like dwarf or medium-sized cichlids confidence and relieve stress. Oh, so dither's not a who? Because it's because it's only a fish? Obviously, yes. However, it's not only a fish. Because these underwater heroes create a calm environment with lower stress levels among various fish species by signaling safety for more timid creatures living inside the same habitat. Without dither inhabitants present in their tanks, their passive counterparts typically appear pale colored because of anxiety and decreased appetites, which would eventually upset the ecosystem's balance among those belonging to this category, who fearfully lurk around habitats without their presence. So, what exactly are types you have to take note of when it comes to dither fish? Well, I got it all here for you! Let's begin our list with the first ever dither fish, the lively colors of live bearers. Live bearers are popular in aquariums and generally easy to care for. As dither fish, they reduce tension between more aggressive species. They give birth to live young instead of laying eggs and will happily breed inside your aquarium. These creatures require minimal maintenance, making them perfect for any watery habitat. Plus, their active swimming creates an attractive atmosphere due to their colors and good temperaments. Live bearers include the following species from smallest to largest. You can purchase the species that best fit your tank size. Going second on the list are the well-known Danios. Danios are perfect for infusing energy into any aquarium. These colorful, peaceful fish flock together and tend to be quite active swimmers, which promotes a more secure environment for shy inhabitants of the tank. Not only do these energetic schooling fish put on an entertaining show inside your aquarium, but they can be mixed with a variety of fish. They are voracious eaters, so keep that in mind if you have slow eating fish. It would be best to feed them separately if your other fish are slow feeding. If you haven't heard of tetras, then you should watch some of our previous videos about them just like the thumbnail right here on your screen. This third fish we have, known as tetras, are popular schooling fish renowned for their colorful appearances and outstanding abilities as dithers. Their activity encourages shy or timid species to come out of hiding with ease due in part to the peaceful nature of these fish. Tetras school very well with each other, with the rummy nose being one of the tightest schooling fish available in the hobby. Tetras are considered a top five dither fish species, though our list expands to more. This type of fish is incredibly diverse when it comes to diet. They eat anything from flakes and pellets, live food, down to frozen options, which makes them perfect for various freshwater aquarium setups. With their stunning colors and resilience, tetras make a wonderful addition to any tank. They're best in large schools where they'll make your other fish feel safe. Here are several tetras that are great choices for a community tank. Fourth on our list is the incredible hatchet fish. Hatchetfish, native to South America, are popular aquarium fish due to their slim and hatchet-shaped appearance. The schooling and surface-dwelling behavior of this species set them apart from the rest in terms of ditherfish. They possess a unique ability that is quite similar to flying fish. It allows them assistive glides as they pursue insects or evade predators in the wild. It's recommended that one keep six or more hatchetfish together for ideal viewing pleasure, as well as establishing an inviting habitat that will bring out their natural behaviors even further. Next type of dither that we got here are rasboras. Rasboras are ideal for providing a secure and comfortable environment in freshwater tanks. With their speed, agility, and colorful appearances, these schooling fish can help more timid species feel safe. They also contribute to the harmony in the aquarium due to their gentle behavior. Introducing rasboras into your tank gives all other inhabitants peace of mind and adds vibrant visual appeal. Keep in mind that some of these species are very small, 
so make sure they're housed with appropriately sized fish. Internet catfish will scam you, but the Corydoras catfish will never disappoint. Corydoras catfish are excellent for keeping community tanks clean and providing an aesthetically pleasing presence in the aquarium. These fish bring peace to their surroundings as they scavenge along the bottom of the tank, never becoming aggressive or disruptive to other inhabitants. They should have many places to hide to feel safe when at rest. A balanced diet is necessary for these lively dithers' health and happiness. Owners must keep up with regular maintenance on both water tank quality and nutritional needs alike. When properly taken care of, Corydoras catfish can make a great addition to any aquatic setup due to their helpful activities and how attractive this species appears swimming around its aquarium. Keep in mind if you're working with a fish that's territorial and claims the bottom of the tank, they shouldn't be housed together. Use dither fish that are middle or top swimmers instead. Jumping into our seventh dither fish on the list, your world will never go black and blue with the rainbow fish. Rainbow fish are one of the most popular fish species among aquarists, thanks to their colorful, hardy nature that enhances the aquarium environment. These fish are more adaptable to tank chemistry parameters than other dither fish. They can work in acidic community tanks and alkaline rift lake cichlid setups. Their ability to thrive under a variety of water conditions makes them an ideal choice for even beginner owners looking to liven up their tank with multiple types of aquatic life, reducing any potential stress or aggression between other fish varieties present in your underwater world. They're also on the larger end, which allows you to use them with most medium-sized fish. They're great with species like the angelfish. Number 8 is Pencilfish Pencilfish are an excellent choice to add to your tank as they help timid and shy fish feel more comfortable coming out of hiding due to their outgoing nature and swimming in the open water. They're schooling fish with a lower energy level than others on this list. They are excellent for fish that may get outcompeted for food and give an alternative look at what you usually see with tetras or rasbora schools. Small, lanky, and elongated pencilfish are native to South America. They get their moniker from their distinctive swimming style, which entails holding their bodies at an angle to resemble a pen or a pencil. They can be a little timid and reserved, but people often choose them for community tanks because of their unique looks and calm personalities. Well, you can say that luck will have come to you after you buy yourself a silver dollar fish. Silver dollars are native to South America and can be used in larger tanks due to their larger size. These fish have a unique mirrored appearance on the flanks, which allows them fast movements that help them evade predators. They prefer warm, acidic waters and will add an attractive element of motion with their swiftness within any tank setting. To ensure they stay healthy, it's important for silver dollars to consume both plant-based food as well as protein sources regularly. Their fast and larger size makes them perfect for aggressive fish like the Jack Dempsey. Going 10th on the list, we've got the barb fish. Small to medium barbs, such as gold or cherry barbs, are an excellent choice of schooling fish when looking for dithers in aquarium setups. These vibrant and patterned fish boast speed, energy, and life that help create a peaceful atmosphere among other species living with them. As they provide beautiful colors, these small to medium sized fish can add charm while keeping the tank lively at the same time. Keep in mind that barbs range in temperament, Keep peaceful barbs like cherries with more delicate fish, while using tiger barbs for more semi-aggressive to aggressive setups. It's better to lean on larger schools for the semi-aggressive barbs to keep aggression down. The 11th spot goes for the miniature look-alike of sharks, the Bala Shark. Bala Sharks are an ideal choice for larger community tanks as they offer great value, can handle freshwater conditions easily, and will get along with some of the largest fish in the hobby. Unfortunately, this species is known to be quite aggressive with its fin-nipping habits, yet it doesn't stop them from being used in groups where other fish inhabit the same tank, just so long as there's enough space available. They require large tanks, with 125 gallons being the minimum. They're one of the go-tos for those who want a monster fish tank with dither fish. And finally, the last dither fish type that you'll wish to have in your tank is the tinfoil barb. Tinfoil barbs are an eye-catching schooling fish with a shiny coating and attractive red fins. They are omnivorous, feasting on plant matter and protein-based foods like shrimp. It's essential to give them ample space in their aquariums to avoid nipping at other slower fish that might inhabit the tank too. They are large fish that require an even larger tank than bala sharks. These are one of the biggest dither fish you can purchase in this hobby. They are reserved for the largest fish keepers. Taking proper care of your dither fish is essential for their health. 
To meet their dietary requirements, offer a range of food like flakes, pellets, and frozen food items, and live feed to them in several smaller amounts throughout the day. Dither fish, given their activity levels, will need to be fed more often than other fish in your tank. Also, introducing compatible new inhabitants gradually is another way to limit stress levels when establishing harmony among all the fish in that environment. Consequently, by employing these methods, you'll be able to promote peaceful vibes for your fin friends thriving in their own self-made habitat. I know you want to know more about the care guidelines to help ditherfish grow into their best version, and that's exactly why I recommend that you visit our official website at www.aquariumstoredepot.com where plenty of dither-related information has been published, including information about the pros and cons of dithers and the difference between target and dither fish. Also, help us reach a wider range of fish keepers who would like to be educated about the different topics in the hobby by sharing or liking this video. Have you kept any dither fish before? Let us know in the comments about your experience, because this isn't gonna be the last topic we have for you. Thanks a ton for watching, fish keepers. We'll see you again on our next aquarium-related discussion.